Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where uh, we're in Prajit's cookshop. We're about to get our breakfast, a cup of tea, and a cake, assuming she's got any left. Um, we're also wearing our uh, hood that doesn't quite match our clothes. Right, it doesn't match our shirt. And This annoys me, but it's raining outside, so that's why we're wearing what it. What do you want? What? You always ask Have me this. Every time I come in, what come. do you want? I want tea and a cake. That's what I Another always want. Prajit. Questions? Morning, Inklot. What can I do for you? Viator Aceus has a good shield selection at Stonewall Shields. Goodbye. Oh, like shields. Difficult to steal, you know. They don't fit in your bag very well. Um. Alright, yeah, I've got loads of stuff I need to sell. Including some mithril gauntlets. Which I could keep, but I feel like a peasant wandering around with a pair of mithril gauntlets is going to attract unwanted attention. So <laughs> I think I'm going to sell them. <laughs> Still, quite a find that, mithril gauntlets. Um, and the Dwemer boots, same goes for them. <laughs> um, not to mention their heavy armor, I can't think of it. So, um, right, anyway, spot. Pardon me, tea. Different varieties, different varieties of tea. I have noticed, by the way, the sweet tea and there's also spiced tea. Um, catchy music. Um, and I have no idea what game this one's from. I can't remember at all. Actually, it's going to bug me now. What is this from? Do, 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 do. I want to say The Witch here, but I don't think it is. Actually, I genuinely don't know. Huh, weird. Might be The Witcher. It's the only thing I can think of. Uh, what am I looking for here? Cake. That was it. I don't have any alchemy ingredients. I've got a calcinator, but no bloody ingredients. That's a shame. Although, uh, Prajit, do you buy potions by any chance? Yes. I'm going to take that as a yes. You won't find Since that's exactly prices. what you said. Um, anything else? You never know when that's going to be useful. Um, you just watch me carry that for the entire Let's Play now and never remember to use it. <laughs> Fire shield, though. Can you drive a hard bargain. As for the rest of you, oh, I don't need them. There you go. A pleasure to serve you. I have two hundred and ninety-four coins now. I think I had about two hundred ninety-four not so long ago. I'm not making a lot of progress, am I? But then again, I got a bag full of really nice stuff to sell, so. Right, Hector. Oh, someone put the horse back in its thing, I suppose. Good, good, good. Um, I don't want the horse running away. If I owned a horse, I sure as I wouldn't want it to run away. Uh, Hector, it's raining. Let me in. No, a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, rumors? The Imperial Watch seems awfully worried about the Grey Fox. Look at all those wanted posters. Yes, yeah, I Let's know. Do Grey business. Fox. Great. Whatever. You got any of the shirts? You got a dark leather vest and a buckled vest. I'll try a buckled vest then, Hector. Why not? Um. Rat the thief. I also have things for you. Well, these fortify fatigue pants and this light armor vest that has taken up almost all your money. <laughs> um, crap. But that's actually all I have to sell you. Well, actually, aside aside from these few little bits here, um, this book. You've made a good. This book. And burning touch. Yep. Uh, flashbolt. Yep. I keep the chameleon because that actually might be useful. 
Although, you know what? Um, Arthur doesn't know how to use scrolls. So yeah, it's going. That would have genuinely been useful, but now that I think about it, well, and I was, when I was saying all about how he doesn't, he hasn't academically studied, studied magic, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take that as he That's doesn't actually know how to use a scroll either. A pleasure to serve you. Which is, um, you, you know, unfortunate, I suppose, but hey. Um, so I got a new shirt now. Oh, for God's sake, it's a retexture of the current one. I suppose it, it does look a bit better, though. It, it fits the, the get-up slightly more. It's just, I don't... I like to think that the hood is part of the shirt, or whatever that you're wearing, but it... Yeah. Whatever, it looks, it looks better than that. So, I will take it. Might not kick to, get kicked out of any posh uh, establishments looking like this versus the, what, what I was wearing before. I've got a nice little waistcoat and everything. I look well posh. Yeah, mate. Um, no, I don't. But still. Right. I just thought it was funny the way the rain is rendered in Oblivion. It, uh, it doesn't move as you move. So it makes it feel like there's a cartoon cloud above your head that's raining on you all the time and nobody else. <laughs> um, right. Off to the Gold Hall Courier. I would, uh, need to go see where the next package is. It sends us to the Market District again. I might have a scout around. See what I can... Oh. That's interesting. D does Hector not buy armor? Or weapons? That's interesting. I wonder... You know that funny-looking smith? The Nord. What was his name? Was it Norn Stoneheft? Could have easy, as easily have been Norn Heftstone, for all I can remember, or Nord names, you know. Um, but, you know, he's out here on the waterfront. He might not be that reputable. Maybe he'll buy this stuff off me if I chat him up enough. It's worth a try, right? Although, actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? I have a fence in the tunnel called um, Giovanni. Was it Giovanni? I think it was Giovanni. He'll buy this. I don't even have to, to convince him. He'll just buy it straight away, I think. I'll oh, go on then. Have a copy of the black. Oh, I've read this one. Here's a copy of the black. Oh, Grey Fox Unmasked. I haven't read that one. Grey Fox Unmasked. Lenara's Convincial recently admitted to being the notorious thief, the Grey Fox, under questioning by the Imperial Watch. He also confessed to being the reincarnation of Time Perceptim, the love child of Lord Stendar, a wear shark, and the mother of Hieronymus Lex. <laughs> Only after he spent a night in the Imperial prisons was it discovered that Vlanaris had recently consumed a near lethal dose of skooma. <laughs> Vlanaris is now back home and recuperating from the hospitality of the Imperial Watch and from the close attention he received during his interrogation. Oh boy. <laughs> they beat the seven hells out of him, didn't they? Um, uh... He, special, he speculates that he might be able to work again in a month or two, so long as it doesn't feel walking or lifting anything heavier than a beer mug. The sometimes dock worker has sworn a solemn oath never to drive with Skooma again and earnestly warns everyone to stay away from the Orem gang. Man, Imperial Watch. What can I say? What can I say? They seem all friendly in the streets, but... They beat that poor guy to shit just because he was on some Skooma. Can't walk for a month or two. Greetings to you. You see why Arthur hates guards? Nice. What is it, citizen? Quick save. At least this game does actually have periodical auto saved, which is nice. But still. I should actually make more, like, perma-saves, shouldn't I, really? Because occasionally a quick save can get corrupted, so... Right, what do we got? Drolier owns the grocery shop in the Talis Plaza district. This package is for him. Really? The Talis Plaza again? Fine. How goes he? Okay. Where's my man Giovanni? Where is he? Oh. 
not here, it's just you, Sandy the Crab Merchant. I'm sure there's a pun in there somewhere. Bollocks. Well, maybe he'll be back later. I hope he's back later. Have you heard any word about the other I've got an axe and a you know, pair of boots and some gloves to, sh to sell him, so. Problem with fence, isn't it? I'm always around. Speak. Hope you're all enjoying the Let's Play so far, by the way. I am. Obviously. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it. But, um... Still, hope you're enjoying it. I know it's... A, 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 I did warn you it'd be very slow-paced, and it is. We're on episode possibly three or four by now, I think. Uh, and we are still... In the Imperial City. We've not even been to every district yet. But yeah, we're still in the Imperial City. Just doing odd jobs. I told you it'd be slow, but slow pace. What, what can I say? Hang on a minute. Oh, no. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse I don't. I've got two already. That's enough. Right, um, what did it say? Grocery shop in the Talos Plaza. There's a grocery shop in the Talos Plaza? What? Since when? Follow the arrow, how about that? <sighs> oh, this here, okay. I have a delivery for you. Thanks for the package. I've been waiting forever. Here's your payment. Great. Another Farewell. bit of pocket change to keep me going. Uh, right, so. So I'm just going to go straight back and get another one. Going to go straight back, get another one. See if it'll take me somewhere more interesting. Well. None of the Imperial City is that interesting, but maybe somewhere that's not the Talos Plaza again. I wonder how many of these there are. Apparently, I think I have to do like 20 of them or something before I'm allowed to like do a delivery to another city. And again, you know, po possibly pointless, although I'd like to think hopefully the ones between cities pay more. But it gives me a reason to be sneaking around should I eventually visit the other cities. I absolutely will, of course. Um... I've done it again. I've gone the long way around to get back to the damn tunnel. Ah! What is it now? Um. Yeah, it gives me a reason to be poking around the other cities as well. What is it, citizen? I feel like it probably 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 like twenty gold to do one in between cities or something, isn't it? Since it's been Which is uh, not a lot considering the trouble you have to go through to uh, to get to another city. In this game. Well met. If you're not fast traveling, that is. Owen in the Bloodworks of the Arena. Okay. That's definitely more interesting. How goes it? Is the arena next to the market district? Might be. I hear it's the place to go for enchanting supplies, though. Oh, big ass long tunnel. <sighs> well, I'm tired. Maybe they put this here when they were building the city or something. Like, I don't know. I don't think of reasons why this would be. Hello! Wait, you're not. Oh, it's the baker I stole one of the cookies from. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Look at it. Welcome to my little bakery down here in the tunnels. What can I get you today? You made all of these? I did. Baked them all up my, in my little oven right over there. She's a small, but she does the job all right. I mean, I can't meet the demands that the bigger bakeries up in the city deal with, but I provide our little city below the city with all the baked goods it needs. What you got? Food and drink will do you some good. Honey. Aleswell white bread. Apples. Apple pie. Blackberries. Blackberry pie. Bread dough. Red light. Why would you just buy, buy dough? <laughs> brioche. 
You know what? That sounds French, which means you probably get it in High Rock, which means that Arthur You're wants a some. Fine negotiator. Um, a bruised apple. Really? Broom a chocolate cake. Cornbread. Muffins. A shitload of flour. Current bun. Yeah, no, I'm all right with me. Thank uh, you. With my brioche. You too. We oui, we oui, monsieur. I'm numb. Resist disease, eh? <laughs> Fair enough. Hello. May I help you? Orville. Uh, yeah, yeah, tea. Don't worry about asking for seconds. There's still plenty more tea where it came from. Get yeah, good. A good. Food and drink will do you. Or tea. Yes, please. A pleasure to serve you. You too. I love me tea. Thank you very much. I'll be on my way. Oh, good. The preacher's not here today. Excellent. Whew. You may be getting the impression at this point that um, Arthur quite likes tea. As a matter of fact, he does. <laughs> Hello. There's a doggo. I have found a strange dog. It looks like it looks sort of hungry. Maybe if I give it some beef, you'd become my companion. Woody, indeed. Don't mind a dog. Yeah, why not? Let's go feed the doggo. Um, merchants in. Uh, can I get some beef here? Oh, I got double ba daggerfall music. Not good. <laughs> um. No, not a bed. A little food and drink will be uh, Where's the roast beef? You do not have roast beef. <laughs> I spit on your establishment, sir. Monsieur, I wish some beef. Le boeuf. Crikey. What is it? Imperial watch officer guy. Put on the feedback. I'm Dillus Fandas. We got food and drink, and lots of it. Good. You got a any beef? Food and drink will do you some good. Why does the city hate beef? We've all got boar meat instead. Is there another, like, inn or tavern or somewhere here that I can buy some beef from? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. That's three people have all said good to see you in a row there. That's a bit weird. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Damn it. Oh, sorry, dog. I can't find any beef. As soon as I do, though, I'll, I'll feed him. And yes, his name is Dogmeat. I'm not going to call him Dogmeat, though. In fact, I'm going to go into the console and rename him Dog right now. Because, uh... Uh, set actor full name. I love that you could do this in this game. Set actor full name. Dog. There you go. He's now called Dog. Um, I always thought Dog Me was a dumb name for a dog anyway. But, and also, that's Fallout, not the Elder Scrolls. And I'm going to name him whatever, I have, whatever the hell I like. Once I find him some beef, he actually becomes my companion. Um, right. The Arena District. Magnificent. Pub 102. Hello. Maybe you guys have got some. Uh... Oh, wait. No, I can't go in there. This. Right. <laughs> I discovered when I was mod testing the game that this this place p plays um, very loud, probably copyrighted guitar music when you walk in there. Um, so we're not going in there, even though they might have some beef, which is unfortunate, but and it's just it's the way it has to be. Um, hello. Hello there. Welcome to the arena. I don't think I've ever seen you around here before. I know all the regulars, believe me. If you're looking to join the arena as a combatant, you Ooh, need to head no. down to the Bloodworks and talk to Owen, the Blade Master. Okay, so that's what Owen is. If you're here to bet on a fight, on the other hand, you're talking to the right man. There are matches all day long, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 
Really? That's a lot of chances to fill your purse with coin. Really? So what do you say? You want to bet on a match? Well, I mean, I'm here, right? I might as well. Yeah. Ah, excellent. I knew you were the gambling type. <laughs> well, you can bet on the yellow team or the blue team. The teams are evenly matched, so you've pretty much got a 50-50 chance of winning. So, which team would you like to bet on? Except you don't. You don't have an even chance of winning. As I recently found out, um, the amount of health the gladiator you bet on has depends on your luck stat. In case you didn't know that. It, it, that's actually the case. Looked it up and everything. Uh, depending on your luck stat, that's how, that's what kind of a cha like like probability chance you have actually when you're betting. Luckily, I think our luck is 50, so we have an e we do have an even chance. Um, well, I'll bet on the um, blue team. All right, then. The blue team it is. How much do you want to bet? Uh, just, just 25 gold. All right, my friend. You've got 25 gold down on the blue team. Good luck and enjoy the match. Oh, and if you win, come see me for your payout. Okay. Welcome, welcome to Ooh, it's not raining it. What the heck? I'm going to say that's magic. You came to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. Lower the gates. Go on. Get her. Smash her. Kill her. All that good stuff. it has got a really big sword, though. Oh, that was a bit of a nasty hit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Come on. There's a skull down there. Don't, don't, don't just let her hit you. Ugh. Uh, yellow team. Imagine if you came in here and had like a like a luck spell. It wouldn't make I don't think it make that much of a difference in the actual game, but think about it from a real world perspective. You would think that like luck spells and 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 luck fortifying items and amulets and things would be banned in a place like this, wouldn't it? Because surely if luck was a real tangible thing that you could boost with magic in the real world, the first thing you do is go gamble, right? Because you're even you're luckier than normal people so it'd be really weird wouldn't it if, if if you just in the real world if you could if you could make your luck better it would affect so much stuff it'd be really bizarre ah oh, sorry friend but it would appear the opponent you bet on lost that last fight the bookies would have better to ban it you know <laughs> otherwise they'd go broke all right whatever stupid stupid arena stupid blue team <laughs> Look at this package what do you want? Arena fighters. I'm a busy man. Wes. I don't know who you are, friend, but you've got about 10 seconds to tell me what you're doing in my bloodworks before I lop your arms off. I'm. I'm. I don't want to be a combatant. I want to deliver this package that you have ordered. You're damn right you will. This is a training hall, not a nursery. Now get back up those stairs while you still have legs. Damn tourists. I'm a courier. You again, huh? Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and just tell them I couldn't deliver it because I don't want to be an arena combatant. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, I hate the arena now. Um, Right. <laughs> Oh, it's so stupid. All right, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's annoying. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, what's this? Bonito's Grocery Shop. Right. Tell me you got some beef. Yes. Let's do business. Beef! All right. I have this trip wasn't entirely wasted. That's, um... 
a bit of an oversight on the mod maker's part, I suppose. Well, I have a feeling like the, the, the deliveries must be completely randomly generated. Otherwise, you'd be delivering to like the same like 20 people or so, because that would have been all the modder could possibly reasonably be bothered to put, you know, put in the mod. Uh, right, it was this way, wasn't it? Do 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. The dog looks at your bag hungrily. You reach in and grab a piece of meat and toss it at the dog who eat, eats it eagerly. After giving the dog some meat, the dog has warmed up to me. Looks like he wants to be my companion. I think I will call it. No, I will not call him dog meat. But I now have a dog meat teleport spell. So we now have a dog. Come on. Heal. I don't think Arthur possibly used to have a dog when he was a boy. <clears throat> so he's no stranger to the canine. Come on then. I got job we got deliveries to make, dog. Come on. You're gonna get lots of walkies, my friend, because I do nothing but walk all the time. Uh so Yeah, we got a we got a dog now. That's a very I think that's a separate mod. Yeah it is. I, I couldn't remember if it was part of Betty Cities there. Better Cities there for a moment, but no, it's a separate mod. Little dog companion to follow us around. I installed it on a whim, to be honest with you. I was just like, oh. I stumbled across it randomly. Um, and was like, oh, actually, you know what? That'd be kind of fun. Uh, however, because uh, I've tested him before, obviously, uh, when I did all the mod testing. But um, the problem with him is, is that he has some issues when it comes to moving between world spaces so he can normally he'll follow you through like into a building or into a dungeon or whatever no problem right but if you move to between world spaces so in other words between the different imperial city districts or out of the city or into the city or into and out of any of the other cities in the game i.e when you're changing world spaces in the game as opposed to just cells he um he doesn't seem to follow you through, but luckily that's what the spell's for, so... A bit annoying, really. Good afternoon. But, um... It's the best I could do, really, because otherwise... I, I, I couldn't find another similar mod after having gone to look for one when I discovered this little glitch. I couldn't find a similar mod that didn't involve the dog, like, throwing fireballs at people and stuff like... Nonsense like that. I kid you not, like, all the other dog mods... Oh yeah, I discovered this with him, thing with him as well. Uh, mod, uh, you know, mod av speed uh, minus ten. Okay, now he's a bit. Now he's not like running it. You know, Afternoon. the speed of sound. Um, you have, yeah, you have to do that with him. If you do mod av speed minus ten, now he's doing it again. See. Uh, if you do mod av speed minus ten, it brings him down to a reasonable speed because otherwise he like. He, he's like he's like a bullet train. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, but at least this way, he's, he still looks a bit jerky when he's following me around, but it does mean that he can actually follow me if I'm riding a horse, you see. Um, so anyway. But yeah, no, I kid you not, all the other mods I found for dogs on the Nexus apparently has difficulty with stairs as well. Whatever. <laughs> um, all the mods, I, all the other mods... I found on the Nexus, like, had magic dogs that can throw fireballs and crap like that. I was like, what? I don't want a dog that can throw fireballs. What's wrong with just a dog? Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. But whatever. I wonder what we'll call him. I haven't thought of a name for you yet, dog. I'm just going to keep calling you dog for now. What could I call him? Merlin, perhaps? That would be a bit on the nose, wouldn't it, though? <laughs> I kind of like that though, actually, Merlin. It's not a bad name. Um, Hello. Archimedes? No, no. Well, it doesn't work for a dog. Hello. Um, yeah, I gotta return this. There's a problem with the delivery. Which package couldn't you deliver? Local Imperial City package. I'll put this package aside for now. Yeah, um, what can I say? Owen was a bit funny about it. Vincent, Vincent Rienzi, he lives in the aristocratic district. Dogmeat? Uh, I'm calling you Dogmeat now, stop it. Merlin! 
I don't know. <laughs> I've got a better name to suggest for him. I don't know. You might as well leave it in the comments. Although, I, so I suspect I've recorded enough episodes now that you won't see this one for quite a while after I've recorded it. But, um... Come, Merlin! We must go to the aristocratic district, which I did not know existed until now. So that's quite fun. Hey, I have curiosity. Will he, will he go? Will he transition through this door with me? He should do, because we're not going between world spaces. Yeah, see. Um, it'll only really be a problem in the Imperial City, really. Everywhere else, it's it's fine. Um, aristocratic district. Where would that? Ah, okay. Elven Gardens. Right, we've got to get to the Elven Gardens district and then go. Ah, okay. Ah, yes. Okay, right. This is one of the weird better cities, sort of. It's, it's the, like the TARDIS district that doesn't... It doesn't actually exist if you go outside. Um, like, if you go outside in the in the overworld, um, this isn't here. Um, there's a bunch of wilderness here, but it exists inside the city. It's very strange. But, uh, yeah, if we go to that, that'll get, they'll give us a door which will teleport us directly to there weird. I th there might be a patch somewhere that makes it appear um, like in the game world but I don't know if there is and if there is I don't know if it's like compatible with uh, unique landscapes so yeah anyway aristocratic district though hmm hmm Afternoon. it'll be full of stuck up nobles stuck up nobles with um where are you? There you are. Stuck up nobles with valuables. And then it stopped raining. It's a sign! The gods want me to rob the stuck up posh boys. Yes, they do. You watch it start raining again now. Like the gods are like, no, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> Don't care. Gotta do it anyway. Right. Um, which way is Golden Gardens? Is it through here? Yes. Okay, yeah, there you go. See, suddenly fog. The gods disagree. Um, <laughs> I don't care. Can I help you? Let's scout the place out now and we can return after dark. Have pity, sir. I got nothing to now that I know... Uh, well, he's already walked off anyway. Um, now that I know there's an aristocratic district, I can't resist. Oh, stands to reason there's loads of guards here. Um, what have we got then? Diplomatic Hotel. Same place. God, the gated community within a gated community. I hate them already. Peleus Alvano's house. But they don't even lock the doors, do they? <laughs> Armand Solius, Solius' house. Carry on Maximus' house. Carry on. Sounds like, <laughs> sounds like the title of a carry on film. Carry on Maximus. Um, Lady Jasmina's house. They even sound stuck up, dog. Even the names. Orentia Galleon's house. I wonder what that one in the middle is. Um, Vincent Rienzi's house. Here we go. Oh my days. I'm so coming back here later. <laughs> butler. Oh, the butler. Yes. Of course. Can't leave the package of the butler, apparently. Ebony, 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 really? What is it now? Where's your husband? Is he upstairs? You're gonna leave your muddy paw prints everywhere, dog. <laughs> um. Oh, 
tribal clothes. Alien craft. Silver Dwemer spectacles. Oh, he's not here. That's quite irritating, actually. Imp <laughs> what? 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 A pair of trousers that's worth 14,500 gold. Got to be just. I'll never get 14,900 gold, 500 gold for him, mind you, because none of the merchants in the game have that much money. But, um, especially not one that can buy stolen goods from me, but still. Dog. We may be back here later. Um, good grief. I'm gonna rob these people blind. Um, there he is. How can I help? Go ahead, please. Uh, what? No, you're not him. You're Clavidi Rienzi. Well, where's your brother, then? Why can't I hear things clink? Oh. Your, uh... Your crockery seems to be possessed. <laughs> it's completely possessed! Is it because I tried to open the door? Possibly. Is he in the... Good heavens, I've got kitchens down here and everything. An actual toilet! Does it flush? Okay, no. <laughs> Bathtub. Arthur's never seen the inside of anywhere this posh in possibly his entire life. Get out of here. What? I the rugged climate of Bruma suits Narina Khan. Well, I've pissed him off, I'm sorry. Where's where's the Right. Okay. Definitely coming back here. One, to give this package to Mr. Vincent, Vincent, whatever his name is. And two, to rob the buggers blind. Hopefully. But they have like a personal guard or something. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe that butler stays up at night. Hope not. Hope not. I want, I want what is possibly the most valuable pair of trousers in the entire world, dog. I want them. And I want them now.